Hello everybody, welcome. Now, I've been up Aldi and I've got, let me show you. Uh, it's quite expensive, well I say expensive, not expensive what it is. I've got a duck in a bag. Duck in a bag. £9.99p. Um, now, I don't really like duck. Um, I do, so, but I thought for a video, I'm going to cook it anyway. But, it depends what you want with it. Like, I'm not sure whether Anna will eat this. I'm going to, I'm going to do a cheese and potato pie with it. Why not? Because Anna loves cheese and potato pie. You can have what you want with it. You can have vegetables. Or, I was going to, I was going to do some of them pancakes. Um, but I say Anna don't, won't eat it. So, and while I'm cooking, I'm always a cook summit. So let's have a look at it anyway and see what's what. Right. So, play duck in the bag, especially if it's selected from uh, Aldi. They only have two in there, so I don't know whether they just have a couple or what. Um, there's not really a lot I can show because it's got to be done in the bag. This says place in the centre of the oven. 180 degrees. Uh, gas mark 6. For time specified, 1 hour 55. You can see that. Uh, with half hour left, cut the, cut the top of the bag open. And then at the rest, there's not really a lot I can show you. Um, obviously it ain't going to be seasoned and everything. And we'll really it, I don't know if you can see that. Really pause it and have a look yourselves or whatever you do. Um, yeah, there's not a lot I can show you really till it's cooked. Um, I've got the oven warming up. So let the oven warm up for a bit. Then we'll get it in. Right, I've got my duck in a baking tray. Um, I've just ripped the bag off a bit off the top of the skin. Because it's going to thing it up. I don't know if you've got to take that label off. I ain't going to be able to take that label off, am I? So I'll just say I'll get it in the oven. Uh, hour and 55 minutes. So, what's the time now? 20 to 1. Okay, I'll get it in the oven then. While that's in the oven, I thought I'd show you this that I bought today. I got this from uh, the works. Was 20 quid, then 10. Now it's 6 quid in the sale. Um, pinch and arm. Uh, I mean, I think a lot, loads of people have heard about pinch and arm anyway, ain't they? But I've never done a recipe. So I'm going to start doing a few of these. And the, the look, quite delicious actually. Um, I think Anne Matt's going to do some baking on her channel out of some of this as well. Done a kebab and that lot. I've done them the other week, didn't I, in that? Kenny McGovern one. There's loads of different stuff in there. Breakfast, full English wraps. Oh yeah. So I'm going to do some of them. Uh, coming next week, I think. So if you haven't got one of them books and you want to, me to do a recipe in there, uh, send me an email, theoldfoodguy at gmail.com and I'll do it. I'm looking forward to doing that one. I've heard quite a lot of good things about it. Right, I've peeled all my spuds. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I've salted the water. And I'm going to get them on now because we've got about an hour left. So I'm going to get them on. I'm going to get them boiling. I'm going to cut myself some tomatoes up. And I'll get the milk and the cheese ready for when they're done. Right, I've got my, uh, my frying pan out. I've done myself a couple of onions. And get some butter in. I'm going to get that fried up. Just getting everything prepared before... Uh, the potatoes do and I start mashing them. It's all gotta go in the oven after anyway, so it ain't gonna matter. Well, I've just done myself two onions, I'm gonna get them in. Um I wasn't gonna put onions in this cheese and potato pie. But I thought why not? I might as well. Right, potatoes are done, so I'm gonna turn them off. Uh I've done my onions, probably just see them there in the corner. And I'm gonna drain my spuds. Remember last time I done this? Burnt on my hand. Oven gloves. Oven gloves. I'm going to leave them for a minute just to steam. I'll get some butter in them. Butter in. Leave them to steam. Melt the butter a little bit. You can't see that, can you? Look. Come here. There we go. Right, there's my tomatoes. I cut all them up. Um, the butter started to melt now. So, I'm going to mash up. So guys, I've 
I weren't recording. Don't know what happened. Well, obviously, I didn't press record, did I? I'm getting rid of my uh, onion in anyway first. I have salt and peppered it. Let's get them a little mix to start with. And then I'm going to get some cheese in. Just my cheap basic Aldi cheese, that's all. Good enough for us. Bit at a time and keep mixing. We like it quite cheesy, so. That, uh, I've just looked at that duck. It's got about 15 minutes left before I take the, the bag off the top. It's looking quite nice and it's smelling okay at the minute. So I'll keep doing this anyway until the cheese is all incorporated. Right, I'm just going to get it in the bowl now. Some nice bits of cheese there, look. All the gooiness. And that loves cheese and potato pie. And I've also got a, a big clear one and all. Might as well get it used up. Get it all in. Right, I'm getting looking a bit respectable now. I've done, I have done this on my channel before anyway, so it ain't really about this, is it today? It's about it's about the, the duck. There we go. We get some cheese on top now. Sprinkle it on. Running out of cheese. I don't think I've quite done enough for this big one. No. Spread them in the middle there. That'll do. Good enough. Right then, what I'll do is I'll wait. I mean, they look alright, don't they, to be fair? They look alright, don't they? Um, yeah, I've got about 15 minutes and then that's got to come out to take the top off. When that comes out to rest, I'll stick them in then. Right, the duck's got half an hour left, I'm going to get it out. We're going to take the, uh, the, the stuff off it. There it is, looking nice, look at it. Obviously the bag's going to go, yeah, the bag's gone. I've got to cut this open, I'm going to burn myself in, I know I am. Woohoo! Hot, hot, hot. So the only problem you have with these is you can't season them, can you? Before you put them in and that. Goose fat and everything on top. Well, that smells de delicious, that does. All the smell. Ooh, very hot. There we go. Um, a nice bit of fat there. I have got a baster somewhere, I don't know where it's gone. Trying to get some juices in it. Uh, stick it back in now for another 30 minutes. And we'll see. Right, I'm going to get it out. I'm going to have a temperature check on it. Um, there it is at the minute. Now, I'm not 100% sure what temperature of a duck's supposed to be. I've had a look online and people are saying all different things, so I'm going to play it by ear and have a look. I think that's going to be about right, isn't it? That's fine. I think they said 180. So that's fine, isn't it? I mean, it's coming off the bone anyway. So yeah, that's done. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to wrap that with a bit of foil for a minute. For like 20 minutes while I get the other stuff in the oven. Um, what I'm going to do, all that juice, 
Because I, I don't think our nut will eat that anyway. So what I'll probably do is I might strip it all down and put it in a slow cooker with all that juice for another video. I'm going to bit of foil over that. Just loose leak. There we go, I'll leave it there. I'll get the other stuff in the, the cheese and potato pie in, just to brown up. We'll get all that in. Right, all done. There's the, the duck in the bag. Uh, there it is, anyway, that skin's cracked off a bit. It's gone off the leg, but it was in for that, exactly the same time as what it said on the thing. Cheese and potato pie, and I've just done myself some green beans with some butter. Yum yum. Um, so let's cut that uh, duck up and see what it's like. So I'm going to turn this into, um, look at that, <sighs> juicy as well. I am going to turn it into like uh, a shredded, I think, some of it. I don't want to taste test it yet, I want to taste test it when I'm up the table, because I'm going to have it now for dinner. Right, I'm up the table. Um, I remember last time we had duck. I haven't had it for ages, I've had about a proper whole duck, I haven't had it for years. It was quite full of bone, there was no meat on it, and it's the same with this. Um, let me show you what I've got, look. That's what I've got. Not a lot there, is there? There's that natural, look, she's had the skin, I don't know if she's going to eat it. Put in a face, look. Oh, I thought it was chicken in the fridge, I did. She thought it was chicken in the fridge. I thought it was having a roast dinner. Yeah, and here's a... Uh, I mean, I've got to shred a bit more up, but that's all we've got. Look, you've got a couple, you've got a legs, and there's not a lot in it for a tenner, really. Um, well, I will strip that anyway. I'll probably put it in my slow cooker, the rest of that or something. I don't know, turn it into a soup or something anyway. So it's a good job I've done that cheese without a pie. But yeah, but well, anyway, let's taste it. Yeah, so there it is. Have a go. Do you want to go yours, Brad? No, you go first. Mmm. Mmm. It's quite nice, that is. It is quite nice. Um. Done in the back, so it's simple. But the only problem is you can't season the skins or anything, can you? But the meat itself is lovely. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Come on. No, don't. Come on, have a go. It's the thought of eating duck, man. It's just no, no. Come on, have a go. <laughs> Come on, let me try. Oh, it's lovely duck. It's lovely duck. Come on. Go on. <laughs> You're gonna ruin my cheese and It's nice, honestly. It's not, like the, it's not like it's not like them burgers. Them burgers from foil. If you haven't seen it, Nat eat a duck burger, I'll leave the link. It's so funny. Quite nice, honestly. Try it, it's nice and juicy. Go on. It's a thought of putting duck in my mouth. <laughs> it's duck, it's only duck. You're like chicken and that, don't you? It's only a bird, ain't it? Nice, isn't it? I don't know. You don't know. Don't you like it? No. If you don't like it, that's not for us, he said. No. Don't know. It's like, no, that's not for me. No, don't worry. But, I like it, but I wouldn't pay a tenner again for it. But duck is expensive, but a tenner. Nah. Anyway, I'm going to go and eat it all now. I'm the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, till the next time, I'll see you later, bye bye. Right, that's what I've got left, I've stripped the carcass, uh, I've got one small bowl full, and I've also put the juices in there, so let me know what you want me to do with that, do you want me to put it in a slow cooker, or do you want me to make soup, or what do you want me to do, just let me know in the comments.